and welcome to the first of three episodes over the third leg of our Scottish tour. So far we've been to Wick, we've been to Orkney, we've been to Greenock. Where else have we been? That's the second leg. Yeah, I don't think we've been to Greenock, man. Right, we've been to Wick, we've been to Orkney, we've been to Dunoon and we've been to Strathpeffer. Today we're going to Aberdeen to play Aberdeen Music Hall. Aberdeen! Correct. <laughs> Tomorrow we're off to Dundee to play the Caird Hall and on Sunday we're in Motherwell. Uh, we've got sold out shows all weekend and then I think that's really us up until Christmas and then afterwards we've got a run of shows in Inverness, Ayr, yeah. Dumfries and finishing off at the Alhambra in Dunfermline. With two shows. With two shows. And then we're up to Turriff. We're up to Turriff and Hogmanay. Hogmanay the whole a Hogmanay Hooley, oh. the Heelands. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna go and find the green room. <laughs> but at least sit down. Because we're a celebration! Yes! yes! <laughs> well done, Strange. Get oh, the muscles going. Cheers, Leah. Right. Okay, so I'll make you now. The Jester case. Come on. Right, Mum, let's go. Okay, so we are now loaded in, as you can see. So Jay's gonna crack on and get his kit set up. I'm gonna go and chill in the green room with James A, eh? and then we'll be sound checking in the next couple of hours once the rest of the guys arrive. But look at the look at the venue. It's a cracker. Sell out tonight. So here we go. Come on. I joined the band about four years ago, um, straight out of school, pretty much. Uh, I, I went to Strathallan School, and I was a pipe major of the pipe band there, and my piping tutor, Craig Muirhead, also played with uh, played with the Chilies. And I think we were looking for a looking for a player for for an American tour. I think it was. I think that was my first trip. Yeah, uh, a five. A four four week American tour, and I got a call one day asking to go on that. So uh, that's been me ever since. The last four years, uh, been to America, been to places like Mauritius, Bermuda, uh, pretty spectacular places, and of course, Dunoon. So yeah, it's a it's a cool it's a cool job for sure. Hello now. Good morning, gentlemen. How are? Oh, is it afternoon yet? Oh, it's afternoon, for goodness. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, eh, Joe? I've been in the Chili Pipers for about a year now. Yes, this time last year I went on my, my first Scottish tour with the Red Hot Chili Pipers. How are you enjoying yourself? Oh, it's a dream. <laughs> it's a dream come true. No, in all seriousness, it's a lot of fun. Uh, we get to see some cool places and uh, meet some cool people. So yeah, it's a good job, a lot of fun. Over the last few months I've been to um, America, Budapest, Japan, um, all with the band. It's, um, it's been a, a crazy few months, to be honest. Yeah. So that's us uh, almost, well we're still setting up, still setting up the stage. We've got a wee bit of time before yeah. sound check, so. Uh, Unfortunately well, on tour we never really get to uh, see the places that we're in, we always see the inside of a van, well, but for once we've actually got a bit of time, so we're going to go and have a wee look around Aberdeen, Aberdeen and see what's on offer. We're going to get a wee bowl of soup and a sandwich, keep it nice and conservative. Convivial. Oh. <laughs> After a wee stroll about Aberdeen, we are now back at the music hall in Aberdeen, which we've sold out tonight. And uh, we're going to do a sound check. See you then. I just changed my strings. It's nice and bright. Sparkly. That's what you're wanting now, Bob.
End of the last song, bang, hit the, hit the last chord, and I can go espresso, double ex espresso, cappuccino. You know, so I'm, I'm, I make up my mind in that split second, you know. So, we finished sound check. We've got uh, Bucks Burn and District, uh, I think they're a juvenile or novice juvenile pipe band, here to play with us tonight. Uh, it is, it's a juvenile pipe band. So, uh, pretty much wherever we go, even abroad to America, we try and get a pipe band at uh, a lot of the gigs. And if you can still hear me. No, pretty much we try to get a junior pipe band or a juvenile pipe band on stage with us um, because our main aim is to try and inspire the next generation of bagpipers and drummers of course so what a better way to do it than getting them on stage in front of a sellout crowd in their, in their hometown. <laughs> We are T minus three minutes till we're on stage. Uh, we're going to open with insomnia and uh, we're going to have a good time. We're looking forward to it. Everyone in Aberdeen to come to party with us. Let's go. Come on. Tonight we are in Aberdeen, which is actually where I learned the bagpipes, which is about five miles along the road in a place called Peter Cooter, and I played for the Cooter BB, or the 47th Cooter BB as they are known. The BBs? Or they became the BBs, the Boys the Brigade. BBs? Well, I was in the I was in 21st Sutherland Boys Brigade. I was in the 47th Cooter BB, and that's where I learned the bagpipes, and a couple of the guys that I played with when I was a wee boy, which let's be honest wasn't yesterday, 34 years ago. Uh, they now teach and look after the Bucks Burning District Pipe Band. There you go. So, uh, the last few times we've been up here, we've kind of shared it around between Cooter and Bucksburn. And this year it's uh, Bucksburn's turn, so we've got the Novice Juvenile coming on and playing Highland Cathedral and Wake Me Up With Me. With me? With us. So, uh, yeah, should be good fun. And I only, wish, I only wish that when I was their age, I got an opportunity to do something like this, so hopefully it encourages them to stay in bagpipes and doing stuff. So. Yeah, we've got that and we've got our dancing. <laughs> now the problem is, the slight problem is I'm carrying a hip injury at the moment, so I can't go too, too far that way. <laughs> Well, this was just done in Aberdeen. As you can see. Aberdeen. We're, still, we're still sweating. We're still sweating. We're still sweating. But, you know, after this, we go out, we put the pipes away, and we go straight out to meet everyone out there.
Can we sign anything? Can we? Anything. Drink? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to sign everything and we're going to say Merry Christmas to all our fans. So, Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god, you were so fantastic! Such a good night! Thank you so much! Hi man, it's Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Come here, come here man! Hello. <laughs> there we go with our cameraman. Where is it? <laughs> there we go. And we are out at merchandise. What's the people? Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh. And the best it is, I can't wait until you boys get to 42, and I can't wait to see the nick of you guys after all. I'm halfway there. <laughs> James came in at eight stone. Look at him now. Hi. Hey. Just take in, you get it, right? <laughs> Have fun, thank you so much for coming. Thank you guys. There you go. Enjoy, thank you very much. So as Harry said earlier, some of the guys get to go, he's still dressed. They get to go out and sign and meet the fans, and then me, who's now not dressed, uh, has to go and pack up all my drums, because I've got a lot of cases, a lot of things. But now we're back here, Harry's eating the leftover rider. We what? put pie! We put pie in them, and we're going to go to the hotel now and get a good sleep, and then head to Dundee tomorrow. See you then.